Don't let your word fall on stony ground. Father, let your word take root in our lives, oh God. Help us to be a receiver, Lord Jesus. Lord, and don't let us leave here the same way as we came in. Help us to be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Oh God, Father, Lord, I thank you on tonight. And I bless your holy name on tonight. And Lord, I give you praise. And I worship you. And if there's anyone here on tonight that need to be delivered, tonight is your night. And if there's anybody here that need a financial blessing, tonight is your night. If there's anybody here that's sick in their body, tonight is your night. Let the church say, Amen. Now the subject that I leave with you today is pregnant with a promise. Right. Come on, somebody. Right See, we are living in a time and a day and an hour where some of us in 2016 have went through some pain, some sorrow, and even some sickness. Right. And not only some sickness and also some financial problems. Yeah. Yeah. And I found out even some of us have even lost loved ones in 2016. Yeah. But I came to let you know on tonight in 2017, you are coming out. But in order for us to receive what God has for us, there is a God divine process for birthing holy things in your life. I came to know that no matter how much we want the promotion or the elevation, there is no shortcut. I come to know that we all have a journey that we got to take. You can't take my journey and I can't take your journey. Come on, somebody. I believe God is looking for a people who don't need a whole lot of evidence to move on his behalf. I believe every time you hear God's voice and obey him and take him at his word, your confidence is built up in the word of God. I came to know if a mother given birth to a child they are much calmer than first time mothers it is the same with seasoned disciples see seasoned disciples aren't worried about the process of scratching and they're not worried about the discomfort and the unsettlement feeling of pregnancy all right, all right. see one thing that I know that I came at the end of the process we all have an end Am I right about it? I understand that the end of God's process come new life, new joy, and new measures of power and glory. See, I understand women who had already had children understand when they start dialing. See, some women start screaming and some cry out for medication. Some even say, get this kid out of me. Now I understand once you start having contractions in your holy cross pregnancy. You may think that they are from the devil. Well, well. See the problem is you will suddenly be tempted to keep that word of promise out in before time. Well, well. See one thing that I found out yes. while you're having contractions yes. sometimes we don't want to go through the process. Okay, okay. But I found out sometimes it's so easy to get irritated with the growing trend among young women. I found out sometimes they say this, I don't want to mess up my figure. I don't want to have any babies. But I found out one thing, when women that already had children, it leaves some scratch marks in the process. I believe God will scratch you when he gives you a word a promise. Right, but right. the fact of the matter is that holy thing that you're going to bring to turn oh, yeah, yeah, will right. leave some permanent scars. Yes. But even through all of that, some yes. folks may even say that you're not going through anything. Well, well. But you must understand some of us got evidence to prove yes, it. Yes, what yes, we're yes. going through in our life. Yes, yes. It reminds me of down in Thomas. See, when Donna Thomas said, I won't believe it till I see the nail print in his hand and take my finger and stick it in the nail print and take my hand and stick it in his side. Some of us don't believe what God has spoken to you in your life. Look, God Almighty. See, some of us got a question. 
lesson yeah. what God has said to us. Yeah. Some of us got to run it by posse yeah. to what God has told us. Uh -huh. But one thing I found out, yeah. you must understand that the baby that God planted in your womb well, is going to be forced every deep root thing out of your life. Okay. I found out in this life, doing your labor to delivery, God's seed in your life. He will cause the labor pains to hit you extra hard in the areas where you need delivery. While you in delivery, you must remember you will have that baby in due time. You must remember while you're going through, Christ is with you. Cause my word lets me know that Christ will never Oh, expand and press beyond normal measures. See, God is looking for individuals and churches who are mature enough to go through the second birth. He's looking for people who will submit to the scratches of the discomfort. I believe labor requires for Christ to be formed in our lives as a witness to the world. He is setting you up for victory uh -huh. on a whole new level. Uh -huh. I came to find out one thing that my God sits high yes. and low in hell. Uh -huh. I have uh -huh. mercy. Uh -huh. He said one thing. He said, I see my people uh -huh. are in a rebellious state, uh -huh. in a wicked state. Uh -huh. He said, I'm going to send my soul. Uh -huh.
something. We get so climbed up and we think we can't do what God called us to do. But if God spoke it, he'll bring it to pass. If he said it, he'll bring it to pass. So Mary said, how could this be? Sometimes we ask ourselves, when God tell us something, how can this be? Sometimes when we don't have enough money, we say, See God. 